What's up guys? Uh, got another knife review here for you. This is by far my favorite knife I have ever owned and now has taken uh, place as my new favorite maker over Warren Thomas. I'm, you know, I'm more of a, a new age, uh, you know, really out there kind of guy. You know, I like, I like them to look flashy, but, you know, mean and just cool overall. So, without further ado, I just got this in. It is a Chris Martin from Phantom Steelworks uh, Walker. Um, this is a one-off custom uh, build from him. He was actually going to uh, keep this for himself. Like, you know, so this is a personal knife of his that he made for himself. Um, I mean, the thing is absolutely amazingly gorgeous. It's, you can just see how how he's got the murdered texture and everything. Um, let's see. Uh, I want to give you some specs on this thing. Um, it's blasted and torched golden flamed with uh, Sakmar Mokumi uh, overlay and clip text that's texturized. Uh, stainless GTC pivot. Stainless standoffs and CTS XHP blade murder treatment on flats and blasted plunge. Um, that's the email that I got from him. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what this material, this material is, if it's titanium or what exactly these materials are. But if anyone knows, feel free to comment because I would like to know. I don't, you know, don't want to bother him too much, you know. But he put so much time and effort into this thing and you can really really tell here if my camera will focus you see how it's like murdered through here that's literally almost all the way around the knife on every surface on the clip there on the bottom here if it once again focuses um, all the way around the file work throughout the spine of the blade here uh, just absolutely amazing gorgeous uh, it's pretty sticky opening it up but there's a full view of it I love how he did the flats just you know blasted on the blade and the handle anything that's not a flat or an edge uh, you know it's it's murdered like, see right through the blade there just murdered all the way down to the tip uh, you know textured through here finger grooves are if you're holding it you know kind of loosely there like you could fit but holding it into here it, it the ergonomics feel great it just it fits right into your hand um, it's you know a great it's a great uh, self-defense knife even if you don't get one tr like in it with a treatment like this you know if you just get a standard uh, issue I guess you could say uh, Walker you know you know it's still gonna be the same great quality knife and same great defensive knife just it lines up perfect uh, it's a great would be a great slasher with that uh, Warncliffe straight blade um, pocket clip just like the uh, overlay on the other side I found this interesting is how thin he went on the relief of the pocket clip and the pocket clip doesn't touch I, I, I've never had a you know a custom knife like that but Taking it in and out of the pocket, amazing. I love it. It, it holds securely. Um, it actually makes it it makes it easier to get into your pocket because it has it. You know, it sits off of the knife so much. But the material, I I think, is harder, stiffer. So like that, that thin relief there really doesn't you know give it too much here. 
Like it, it definitely got some flex in and out, but it, it holds. It holds. It holds really well. See, it's got the flexes in and out, but it's just it does the job really well. Um, <laughs> I'm like looking at the knife, not through my phone here. Um, just the detail into the murdering that he did. I, just, I am just so over, <laughs> overly excited and overly, uh, I don't even know the words. I can't find words for it. It's, it's truly amazing. Like I, I got this to be an EDC and a user. Um, and this was a very hefty price tag. Um, I mean, it, it took took some took some doing to get this thing, but uh, after I got it and just was looking at it and the details, I'm just like I I don't know I don't want to use it. It's you know I, we've all been there too. It's it's just it's it's too pretty, too nice to to be a user. But literally, this is my only knife I have right now, and I'm definitely keeping it forever. I, I know I've said that about other knives, but literally just this this one has been just over the top so um sorry my phone never wants to focus i just want to take some like macros here for you really get into the detail here And it focuses on um but yeah so Chris Martin definitely my new favorite maker definitely awesome check him out if you're into new age or you know newer looks um all the jimping across the back there and across the blade here on the spine it's super aggressive. I mean, almost too aggressive. Yeah. Don't we'll get it here. There we go. Almost too aggressive, like with how deep and edgy it is. But I'll tell you what, it's like, it doesn't hurt. You know, it's still smooth enough that it does not hurt to, you know, really push down on it. But it provides you with the most secure grip I have ever felt. Try to get some more close up here. Come on, there we go. It's very, like I said, it's very aggressive. Like, it hugs your hand. It holds the knife in place, and it was not going anywhere. Um, do some macro of the other side here, too, for you. Um, like I said, just truly amazing knife build quality the time and effort put into this thing just absolutely amazing um, I highly recommend you know one of his even if it's not the high end one off custom like this check it out get one <laughs> you won't you will not be disappointed it's just it's amazing it's perfect I'm definitely gonna get a flipper of his probably as my next knife so uh hope you enjoyed rate comment subscribe uh i know i mentioned in another video before once i get to 100 subscribers i'm gonna be doing a knife giveaway um it's not gonna be anything special for this first one uh it's probably gonna include uh a few knives but you know they're they're, they're lower end things the one's actually nice for being a low end knife it's a K bar so but if when I get to a thousand, I'll do actually do like a strider or something. So 
keep uh keep subscribing guys